Sega. We have over 60 achievements in this game, which I think is a lot for a handheld game, and should add a considerable number of hours of gameplay beyond finishing the normal game. Each achievement unlocks something physical, and that could be concept art, so you can see where the artists got their inspiration for these levels, hidden characters, we have music tracks, and then cool and interesting cheats that you can play and go through the level. It's a nice reward for people who want to try to unlock everything and become sort of the master ninja of this game. You can find these tokens. You find two tokens per level, and you'll be able to unlock a challenge map. And the challenge maps are set in a futuristic kind of VR, you know, virtual reality styling. These maps are a reward for you, not only playing through the game and getting through it, but then also kind of looking around and discovering the different ways you can find these things tucked away uh, throughout the environment. So it kind of gives you a reason to go back and explore a bit. In Shinobi 3DS, the the score plays a lot into replayability. As you replay, you're going to want to play with higher scores to get higher ranks to get better achievements. And the achievements will actually tie back into the game as well. You'll, you'll find some unlockables. The only way you're going to kind of get at these other things in the game, the only way to unlock the stuff is to play through. You can actually go through a level, finish it up, see how well you did, and then record the whole replay of the game on your SD card. You can watch it and see where you messed up and then go through the level and improve your skill set and your points before moving on. It rewards the gamer who wants to improve their abilities and become a master ninja. In Shinobi, everything you do that it earns you an achievement gets you something, a tangible reward that kind of factors back into the game. We wanted a way to reward players, but also encourage people who are new to this franchise to continue on to get better, to improve their skill set. Shinobi has a very hardcore following of fans, um, but they've never been connected in a lot of ways. And Street Pass on the 3DS allows us to bring Shinobi fans together. They're sharing data to unlock things in the game, and it sort of reinforces the fact that you know, I'm playing Shinobi, who are the other people who are playing Shinobi? Let's find each other so we can unlock stuff in this game faster. Once you boot up Street Pass for the first time, you'll be granted one level. And as you move around the world and, you know, the real world and come in contact with other people that are having and playing 3DS, uh, you'll exchange those maps. We built out an extra number of these challenge maps for people. And what's neat is that they have two very cool features. One is the retro mode functionality. So when you go into these levels, they're one-hit kills. You hit an enemy once, they're dead. Vice versa, if you get hit once, you're dead. So it's very, very challenging. And also, as a bonus to fans, you get to play as Joe Musashi in these levels. We wanted to have him in this game, and it seemed like these special Street Pass maps was a nice place to put him in there. And then the last, final, hard achievement is if you're able to complete these very challenging maps in Street Pass, you get to unlock a retro mode in the regular version of the game and try to make it through those levels without getting hit. It's one of those Zen moments of, you know, you, you just kind of feel the rhythm of it and then you kind of forget how you're playing, you're just playing. You can get through and just have these really empowering moments that you didn't think was possible, but just through the sheer will of, of playing and understanding and becoming that true ninja, you'll get through it. We threw a lot into this game. We have a, we have a lot of hidden content, we have a lot of levels, uh, we have several difficulty settings, so there's a lot here to, to go through. We really wanted to make a AAA Shinobi title. We wanted to be faithful to the old original games and make fans proud. I think there's a lot here for a lot of people to love.